let's just say that this video is a long time in the making. When I published my review of the Apple Watch back in June of last year, I felt relatively positive about it, and I still sort of do. What I was really hoping was that watchOS 2, announced at WWDC, would make some significant improvements to the Apple Watch experience. But nearing six months following the official release of this revamped software, almost everything still feels like we're running something released on day one. The watch is in a strange place right now. Here's why. It does three things exceptionally well. Telling the time, presenting notifications, and tracking fitness activity. So the first one is a no-brainer, as the watch tells time like it should. There's a nice array of faces to choose from, and there's one or two that I keep going back to. Usually it's this one. Secondly, notifications are awesome. I love the ability to just glance at my wrist and see what's happening without ever thinking about my phone. And thirdly, the watch excels at tracking activity. Whether that be standing or walking or running or something else entirely, I've had nothing but positive experiences here. The three activity rings are an excellent motivation, at least for myself, and filling all three is something I'm proud of. Unfortunately, these three great experiences are hindered by one bad experience. We're talking about load times, which have been a huge problem since day one and have remained almost entirely unchanged over the past half year. So here's a brief analogy. Imagine that Apple releases a brand new iPhone this year, and people are really excited this time around because it offers conveniences that no phone before it really has. There's a lot of hype. But then you get the device and look at the spec sheet and see a copy and paste list of the internals from the iPhone 4S built into this brand new device. And launching the majority of apps takes anywhere from 4 to 10 seconds or longer to load. And there's persistent lag across the entire operating system. Now imagine that new iPhone is the Apple Watch that launched last April. I've been wearing my watch since the day I received it and I'm still wearing it now. And I'm still gonna wear it in the future because of those three things I mentioned earlier. I love tracking activity, I love looking at notifications, and I like wearing a watch in general. But for anyone else, I would wait for the second version that's probably launching at some point in September. Because right now, it's basically like wearing a four-year-old iPhone on your wrist. The device definitely works, just at its own pace.